civil disobedience, examples in scripture. In Exodus 1, the Egyptian pharaoh gave the clear command to two Hebrew midwives that they were to kill all male Jewish babies. An extreme patriot would have carried out the government's order, yet the Bible says the midwives disobeyed Pharaoh and feared God, and did not do as the king of Egypt had commanded them, but let the boys live, Exodus 1.17. The Bible goes on to say the midwives lied to Pharaoh about why they were letting the children live. Yet even though they lied and disobeyed their government, God was good to the midwives, and the people multiplied, and became very mighty. Because the midwives feared God, he established households for them, Exodus 1 20 and 21. In Joshua 2, Rahab directly disobeyed a command from the king of Jericho to produce the Israelite spies who had entered the city to gain intelligence for battle. Instead, she let them down via a rope so they could escape. Even though Rahab had received a clear order from the top government official, she resisted the command and was redeemed from the city's destruction when Joshua and the Israeli army destroyed it. The book of 1 Samuel records a command given by King Saul during a military campaign that no one could eat until Saul had won his battle with the Philistines. However, Saul's son Jonathan, who had not heard the order, ate honey to refresh himself from the hard battle the army had waged. When Saul found out about it, he ordered his son to die. However, the people resisted Saul and his command and saved Jonathan from being put to death. 1 Samuel 14:45. Another example of civil disobedience in keeping with biblical submission is found in 1 Kings 18. That chapter briefly introduces a man named Obadiah who feared the Lord greatly. When the Queen Jezebel was killing God's prophets, Obadiah took a hundred of them and hid them from her so they could live. Such an act was in clear defiance of the ruling authorities' wishes. In two kings, the only apparently approved revolt against a reigning government official is recorded. Athalia, the mother of Ahasia, began to destroy the royal offspring of the house of Judah. However, Josh the son of Ahasia was taken by the king's daughter and hidden from Athalia so that the bloodline would be preserved. Six years later, Jehoiada gathered men around him, declared Josh to be king, and put Athalia to death. Daniel records a number of civil disobedience examples. The first is found in chapter 3 where Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego refused to bow down to the golden idol in disobedience to King Nebuchadnezzar's command. The second is in chapter 6 where Daniel defies King Darius' decree to not pray to anyone other than the king. In both cases, God rescued his people from the death penalty that was imposed, signaling his approval of their actions. In the New Testament, the book of Acts records the civil disobedience of Peter and John towards the authorities that were in power at the time. After Peter healed a man born lame, Peter and John were arrested for preaching about Jesus and put in jail. The religious authorities were determined to stop them from teaching about Jesus. However, Peter said, whether it is right in the sight of God to give heed to you rather than to God, you be the judge. For we cannot stop speaking about what we have seen and heard, Acts 4 19 20. Later, the rulers confronted the apostles again and reminded them of their command to not teach about Jesus, but Peter responded, we must obey God rather than men, Acts 5 29. One last example of civil disobedience is found in the book of Revelation, where the Antichrist commands all those who are alive during the end times to worship an image of himself. But the Apostle John, who wrote Revelation, states that the true saints will disobey the Antichrist and his government and refuse to worship the image. Revelation 13:15. Just as Daniel's companions violated Nebuchadnezzar's decree to worship his idol, Yes heavy heart, 